What's up guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for post notifications. Me and Austin do not want you guys missing a single video in the future. And uh, yeah, if you're listening to us off of Anchor, hit that follow button. But today, guys, we're going to be talking, breaking down, reviewing pros and cons on the Freddy vs. Jason film from 2003, which means a spoiler warning is ahead. So three seconds to click off of here before I begin the show. So three two, one. Austin, is there anything you want to add? Yes. Well, I really don't have anything to add, so let's just go ahead and get into the show here. I first, when I first watched Freddy vs. Jason, I'll go ahead and say this right now, I was not impressed whatsoever. Then I had to give it, like, literally a second watch, and I'm like, gosh dang, I'm so not impressed. What I'm trying to get at here, guys, is this film is okay, in my opinion. I mean, we have Robert Englund playing the legendary Freddy and Ken Kersinger playing Jason, two horror icons the problem that i have with this movie or i actually have a couple problems um one of the problems is it was pushed more towards of a comedy there really wasn't enough horror elements in it to even make it worth watching and i'll get into the fighting when i list my cons now the question i have for you joe is do you think the movie should have been pushed more to, do you think the movie should have been a comedy horror or more along the lines of a horror film? Obviously, it's a horror film. I mean, it's Freddy and Jason. They're fighting for the first time ever. It should be dark. It should be gritty and bloody more so. I do not think this should be a comedy at all. I mean, if so, throw Freddy a couple one-liners in there, and then that, that's like the comedy that this movie needed. But no, like there was jokes left and right, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, bruh. Like, goddamn, another joke? Like, no, this should have been a straight horror film. But this actually jumps in to, like, one of my questions. Uh, and this is one that actually kind of upset me after uh, finishing the film. The after credit scene leaves it to the viewer to decide who won. So in your opinion, Austin, if it didn't show the after credit scene, who do you think won? Like, because to me... Obviously, Jason chops Freddy's head off, but honestly, I think Freddy would have had him beat if it wasn't for human interference. Well, that was actually going to be one of my questions. Who do you think won the fight, Freddy or Jason? So he beat me to the, po to, to the punch. So, <clears throat> in my opinion, who won the fight? I mean, at the end, we have Jason literally coming up out of the water, holding Freddy's head. And then Freddy gives like a wink. So that could mean that Jason was probably already dead. Um, there could be 50-50 shot um, that we could see something else happen. But in my honest opinion, I think Freddy won that fight because the after credit scene where, like I said, Jason comes up out of the water. He's holding Freddy's head. Freddy gives a wink, which more than likely means Freddy might have killed Jason in his dreams. Now, this leads to my other question that I have. All right. With the ending of the after credits scene, or the after credits scene with what I just mentioned, is there potential for a sequel? Do you see any and all potential that Freddy and Jason could go, could square off one more time? You know, that's funny that you bring that up as a question because that is one of my questions for you, actually. Was there room for a sequel? But you beat me to the punch on this question, so... Yes, I do believe there is room for a sequel. And do I think there's going to be one? No, I do not. I think the fight served its purpose. It was just a fun little crossover that they wanted to do. But yes, I certainly do see uh, room for another fight. I mean, you got Freddy coming up out of the water and Jason's hand winking at the camera. I mean, so could we see Jason rising from hell one more time for another fight? Maybe this time uh, having Michael Myers involved. I mean, that would be fun to see. But like, in my own preference, I do see room for a sequel. But no, I do not, uh, you know, see room or them wanting to do another. But this actually brings up a question that I actually want to ask you this time. What was your favorite moment of the film other than the fight? My favorite moment in the film other than the fight? Um... <clears throat> This actually brings up one of my pros of the movie. All the right. The bed scene. And if you guys don't know where I'm getting at with the bed scene, it's where the guy's in bed. He cranks open a drink, takes a swig. He sees Jason. And Jason's just freaking stabbing him multiple, multiple times. 
before he folds the bed and literally snaps the dude's spine in half. Yo, that was actually one of my pros of the movie, too, it was uh, some of the kills by Jason were fun to watch, like the bed kill, which you just brought up. I also have chopping the stoner character in half after, like, Freddy's, uh, what is it, worm just crawls in his throat and Jason cuts him in half after getting the needle stuck in him. But another pro that I have for the movie is the fight itself. I think it was acted out amazingly, and it was just fun and entertaining to watch, especially it being the first time two horror le- two horror icons actually were fighting in a film. I mean, it's something that like you would only see in like uh, fan art or fan comics or cosplay or like fun little fan films. I, I mean, agree there. I mean, that's just a great uh, premise. And actually, not a lot of people know this, but the movie was supposed to be made after Jason Goes to Hell, but Jason X was made instead just to keep attention on the Jason character. Exactly. And Jason X, let's not even dive into that. I mean, I should have brought up other characters that we met earlier on in the film being Freddy, Jason, Lori, and Will, which are the dual main characters of this film. We got the black character, Kia, her love interest at the end of the film being Charlie. We got Deputy Scott, who has one of my favorite death scenes in the film, whereas Jason slams his head into the electricity. You got uh, Mark, Gibb, and Trey. Trey being the guy who gets folded in the bed. But, like, bro, this movie overall, what would you rate this movie overall, actually? Um, Let me go ahead and list some of my pros and cons. Um, The pros that I have... Like I said, the Jason bed scene. Um, the ending was fine. Um, and that was pretty much it for my pros. Um, the cons that I have with this movie, too much of a comedy, too many comedy. The fighting, in my opinion, you said earlier it was fine. But I think the fighting could have been just a little bit better. The reason I say that is because there was too much human interference with the fight. And... That was actually one of my uh, points. I think I said Jason would have lost if it wasn't for Freddy having to fight human interference. Yeah. And the human characters were kind of bland, especially the main characters. That was so... actually one of my cons for the movie as well. The human characters were rather bland and, well, rather poorly written. Mm-hmm. So overall, out of 10, I'm going to give this film a very, very disappointing Five out of ten. It had potential to be a really good film if it wasn't for those cons that literally ruined the film. And it could have scored a six out of ten, slightly above average, if it wasn't for those cons. But no, because of those cons, it dragged it to a five out of ten average. You know what? I'm just going to hop into my pros and cons now and then give you guys my overall Uh, The pros of the movie for me were some of the kills by Jason were fun to watch. The bed kill, chopping the stoner in half. The fight itself was well acted and amazing to watch. Uh, The story of how Jason actually got to Elm Street made some sense. Albeit it could have been better. I mean, Jason or Freddy turning into Jason's mom and telling him to go to Elm Street was actually a good way of explaining how he got there. Getting Robert England back as Freddy, that's smart. That's always smart. Getting someone knowing Jason to play Jason, that's smart too. And I think the final act was actually portrayed rather well with the fight. Like, the aesthetics of it looked nice. The cons of the movie for me, though, were the human characters were rather bland and or poorly written. I feel most of the kills have the victim literally flying after they die. Like, Jason will hit somebody and they they fling. Like, that, that's, that happens way too much in the film. The fact Freddy needed to resurrect Jason at all to even help him get his powers back, and albeit not even someone else. Yeah, I mean, he could have called anybody else to help him uh, get his powers back and just a random killer. The fact Jason didn't show damage to his body or anything after the dream sequence fight. I mean, if somebody had that big metal uh, water pressure thing drop on their chest and their whole body, in the real world, they would have been dead and smushed. But to Jason, no, that, that doesn't even happen. The whole story with the dad killing the mom and Lori trying to figure it out was just not fun to experience, in my opinion. So like Austin said, I'm giving this a disappointing 6 out of 10. 
Uh, do I want to see a sequel? Yes. Can they make it better? God, I fucking hope so. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, unless Austin wants to add anything about this movie. Well, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have anything else to add to this movie, but I do want to add um, something here at the end. All right. If you, um, now, we gave our thoughts on the film. Now we want to hear your thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts on this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Let us know in the comment section down below as well. And plus, if you missed our previous video where we, did, where we were discussing breaking down the pros and cons of the Black Phone trailer, click that link down below. You have to hit that link in the description box below. Let us know what you thought. And overall, guys, um, let us know what you thought about the movie. Like I said, did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Let us know in the comments. And, of course, uh, as I said, I'm also going to put our social medias down in the description of this video so you guys can go follow us on social media. Once our uh, official Horror After Dark uh, Instagram gets bigger, I will start putting that down there. But big news, Saturday, me, Austin, are going to be dropping a Halloween Kills movie review for y'all. Me and him are going to the theaters at 1.20 on Saturday to go see it. Then once we're home, expect around 7.30, 8 o'clock for the review to drop. We may or may not have a guest on here. That's up to him. But yes, guys, we love you. Awesome loves you. I love you. Peace out till the next time.